Hey guys and welcome to the second video of this Python programming tutorial for beginners. In this video we're going to talk about variables and data types in Python and I'm going to show you some different kind of examples of both variables and data types and we're also going to talk about like local and global variables and local and global scopes and then regarding the, the data types we're going to talk about how to cast between the different data types so let's get into Jupyter Notebook. So we're now in the computer and to open up Jupyter Notebook, we go to the command prompt uh, here and we type in Jupyter Notebook to open up the notebook. And it will open up a web page, here, a local web page here where we can see uh, the file system. Uh, I have made a folder for the Python basic tutorial here. And the first one is the variable and data types in Python. So when we open the, up the Jupyter Notebook, it comes up like this and we can have different uh, kind of headlines and in these in these cells, we can write the write the code, and we can isolate each, each cell. So, if we make make a cell here, we can we can evaluate or 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 print something in this cell and isolate it from other cells. So it makes it a lot easier, and it's good for beginners to to, to start with. So in this in this video, we're going to talk about uh, variables and data types in Python. And the first thing is is variables where we have a, a variable we can assign a value to. Uh, for example, in this. In this case, we assign two, the number two to the variable a, and we do the same thing with, with b, and then we can have another variable that we assign the, the sum of these two numbers to, and then we can print out the um, print out the, the result by uh, the, by pressing shift enter, and then we'll get the result five. Then there's global and local variables, and a global variable is like this where we have a variable that is that is known by a program all over all over where for example we have d uh, equals 4 here so it will be a global variable because we can like print it print it down here as well like print print d and it will show the number 4 but for example if we have a function here I'll come in later on uh, what function in python is and how to make them and we have a result here which is the sum of these two numbers we pass to the uh, pass to the function so this result is a, is a local variable, so it, it isn't known by the program uh, everywhere in the program. So we if we try to print out result here, like we will get an error because name result is not defined. So it will be a local variable and we can't modify the local variable outside uh, this scope, where if we had a global variable, we could um, modify it in here as well. Uh, so yeah. That's about a global and local variables and scopes. And then we can assign values to multiple variables as well. So if, for example, if we have uh, x, y, z coordinate, we can, coordinate we, can, we can assign all three values at the same time. So we assign x to one, y to two, and c to three, and we can print them out here. And we see the result here. And then the data types in, in Python, where we have different kinds of, uh, of data types, and I'll be mainly focusing on the numeric ones with the engineers and fluids, and also a bit about the string and booleans, and then the di dictionaries, sets, and sequence types with lists and, and tuples. I'll come I'll come more into details with with those kind of data types in in later videos. I have some examples down here in this in this cell with with some of the data types we'll be working with, where we have this. The string we where we assign a string to, to to this variable, and we can print it out down here, and we can see if we print the string name out, we will get the, the welcome we assigned it to up here. And then we can also have an integer where we assign a one or a floating floating uh, floating uh, point number where we have 0 0.5, or we can have a list a turbo or a range, which is just kind of a uh, the sequence type up here, um, which I will talk about more in depth in, in other videos. So if we, for example, try to, to print out this tuple uh, here, we get orange, green, and blue. And then we can we can like see what kind of data type the, the variable is. So this name will be, a, it will be a, a variable, and this is to get the data type of the variable. So in this case, our int name is a one. So down here, we can see that the class is an integer, which is, which is correct. In Python, we can also do casting between uh, different uh, data types. So, for example, if we have a, f a floating point here or float, we can cast it to an integer, which is which will uh, round it down in this case. Because uh, so this, if we print it out, it will be eight, 
and if we did the, the round function it will round it up to to nine um, so it's, it's not it's not exactly the same but if we for example had 8.4 here the rounding the rounding function would round it down so it depends but we can round down uh, we can we can cast a, a float value to to an integer and we can also like if we have an integer cast it to a float value and it will be a decimal number um, the last example I have down here is two numbers and we get the sum and we print the sum and then we make but then we cast this the sum to a string and assign it to a variable here and then we print the print this the string um, which is 4.4 .4, and we print the sum here which is a floating point value so it will be it will look like the same but if we if we print out the data type we can see that the, that the sum here the, uh, the data type of the sum here it will be a float data type float float and the other one with the, which is the sum string which is the sum that we cast it to a string it will be in, in a, a string class so it could be the same number but two different uh, types of data uh, data data types so that was it for this video we have talked about a bit about the, the variables and data types in, in python and we'll go more in depth with with some of the data types in python in, in later videos and and then don't forget to, to subscribe and hit the bell notification under the video and i'll see you in the next video bye guys